The shells continue to pound East Ukraine, including the village of Yelenovka, where residents survey the damage after days of bombardment. And across Europe, leaders speak out. Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko pleads with Western powers at a Munich, Germany security conference to give his country weapons. The Ukrainian question will remain unsolved as long as the heart of the people and politician in Europe and in the whole world are closed for providing solid practical support to strengthen Ukrainians' independence politically, economically, but also military. But it's a promising start. U.S. Vice President Joe Biden also spoke at the Munich conference, condemning Russian President Vladimir Putin's aggression against Ukraine in the last year. Meanwhile, Putin himself chimes in, denying his country is the aggressor, instead accusing the West of trying to tamp down Russia's development. There is an attempt to perturb the existing world order, which formed in the decade which followed the collapse of the Soviet Union. This world order will never suit Russia, but we are not going to wage war on anyone. We're going to cooperate with all. Still, Ukraine adamantly claims that Russia's military is helping in the fighting in the east of the country, and a visit by the leaders of Germany and France to Moscow did not result in any peace deals, meaning the people of eastern Ukraine likely have even more violence headed their way.